<laughs> this shit is sad. <laughs> oh, my heart. Fuck this movie. People, Bernie here with a reaction video for you guys, and I'm going to react to, as you saw by the title, The Whale, starring Brendan Fraser. Listen, just by the trailer, I was like, okay, this looks hella interesting. It looks very sad. It looks very good. So here we are, The Whale. Let's go. <laughs> Chris. I imagine that was supposed to be a private chat that you sent to the whole class, well done. And yes, the camera on my laptop still doesn't work. He doesn't oh, want to show himself. You still haven't given me paper three. And remember, the more you revise these essays, the better. Um, are we watching something inappropriate? Yes, we are, and I don't want to see that or hear that. Oh, damn, even doing that. Moby Dick. <laughs> What's happening? Is he having a heart attack? Oh my God. Who are you? Gosh, are you okay? Should I call an ambulance? <laughs> Just read it. Okay. In the amazing book Moby Dick by the author Herman Melville, the author recounts the story of being at sea. What is this? Why am I reading this? Just I, I need read it, any of it. And I felt saddest of all when I read the boring chapters that were only descriptions of whales. So I take it this calms him down? Did that help? Look, I, do you have a phone? My phone's dead. I need to call an ambulance. You need help. I don't go to hospitals. Hmm. Who are you? Why are you okay? here? Who are you? Are you acquainted with the gospel of Jesus Christ? What? I should call my friend. She's a nurse. Sorry about it. Wait. My phone fell under there. Can you? Uh, oh, gosh. What was that thing that you had me read to you? It's an essay. It's my job. But why did you have me read it to you? Because I thought I was dying, and I wanted to hear it one last time. Oh. You should have called an ambulance. This is going to be one of the movies that makes me cry. Tell me what you felt. Pain in my chest. Hard to breathe. Lean forward. What was my blood pressure? 238 over 134. I'm very curious as to what got him on this path, which I'm sure they'll show. Oh, shit. I should go. Thank you. You must be from New Life. Believe me, he doesn't want to hear about New Life. Why? Because it's caused him a lot of pain. How? Oh. He killed his boyfriend. Oh. We don't need you coming over here, especially not now. Why? Because he probably won't be here next week. Where is he going? She gave him a look like, you really have to ask that? Oh, this is sad. Charlie, your blood pressure is 238 over 134. I'm sorry. You will die. Well, then I better get to work because I have a lot of essays this week. God damn it. I know. I'm sorry. I'm an awful person. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. You're my friend. Mm -hmm. I don't want to watch you like this. I'm sorry. You say you're sorry one more time, I will shove a knife right into you, I swear to God. Go ahead, what's it gonna do? My internal organs are two feet in at least. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I'd be so pissed at him too. You can't leave me. This would happen. That is so heartbreaking that she has to watch him slowly die. This. Please. 
Oh, no, the food. In the course of the book, the Pirate A have encounters many hardships. His entire life set around right. Goodness, they really did a good job of making him really look like he's this heavy, huh? Jesus, the makeup and effects and things that we can do today. This book made me think about my own life. Hmm. Right, you're in dangerous ground. Oh, Jesus, he's gonna eat the whole pack. We got a birdie. Trying to catch the birdie? <laughs> That's cute. Does this mean I'm gonna get fat? Look at her from Stranger no, Things. It doesn't. Was your mom okay with you coming over here? I didn't tell her. Mm. Sneaky butt. It's really good to see you. You're a senior, right? You actually care? Well, of course I care. They're clearly detached. Is he doing this because he thinks he's about to die? Why are you? Uh, I mean, don't you have school? I got suspended this morning. I'm a smart person. High school's just bullshit. But Ellie, it's important if you don't graduate. Then... Are you actually trying to parent me right now? No, I'm sorry. I just, maybe we could spend some time with each other. I'm not spending time with you. Oh, shit. Disgusting. Oh. Why'd you come here? You'd be disgusting even if you weren't this fat. You'd still be that piece of shit dad who walked out on me when I was eight. Mm. All because he wanted to fuck one of his students. Can I have one of these? <gasps> yeah. Is that what happened? Jeez. She's like, can I have something while I talk my trash? I can pay you. You want to pay her? You want to pay me to spend time with you. And I can help you with your work. It's what I do for my job. I can help you pass your classes. You teach online? Yes. It's so pitiful. What do you look like? I keep the camera shut off. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Damn, come on! He's a bad dad, but damn. You can rewrite these essays for English. Rewrite? I'm not rewriting. I'm teaching you. How much can you pay me? Everything I have. All the money I have in the bank. How much? 120000 something like that. I'd have to check. I never go out. All I pay for is food, uh, rent, internet. Just don't tell your mom. Oh, jeez. Thinking about it, though. Stand up and walk over to me. What? Come over here. Walk toward me. Why? No. No, not this thing. Ellie, I can't really. Shut up! Come over here. Oh, shit. He can't! You're gonna watch him struggle? I swear to God, if he falls and she just leaves him and shuts the door. Sounds like he's struggling just to move. I'm gonna say he feels the, the air on his face. 
measures perspiration, it's an indicator of stress. It's about establishing a relationship between your brain and your body. If you know how to make yourself calm, then your blood pressure will... She just wants him to... Oh. I'm just gonna try some different methods or whatever. Where'd this come from? Hey. You know you're not supposed to be around her. Mary has kept her from me all this time. Why do you suddenly need to see her so bad? Why now? Liz. She shouldn't be around you when you're like this. Oh, Charlie, you're Charlie. upsetting him. It's Jess. Come on, a dead dog. Oh, jeez. This kid's in a dark place. <gasps> She's just a teenager. Do not bring her over here again. Okay. Is he choking? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Are you choking? Oh god! What can she do? Can she? I need you to rock with me. Oh fuck! Oh! I'm okay. God damn it, Charlie! What is wrong with you? Chew your food like a normal human being. You could have just died right in front of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Liz. This shit is sad. Damn. It's sad for both. It's sad for him. It's sad for her. It's okay. Mm. I wouldn't even want to eat after that. I feel so shitty. I can't see. What is that? Was that him and his boyfriend or? Damn it. Something as simple as just bending down and picking it up. It can grip anything. It's harder to do it on a keto. Ugh. You know, I think you might like it if you actually read it. You're just like my teachers. <laughs> I did read it. It's overwritten and dumb. And That's an interesting perspective. So how's your mom doing? She's fine. She happy? When she drinks. Oh boy. She just got a lot of resentment towards him, that's all. Is your mother with anyone right now? No. Why are you interested? <laughs> Were you who want to reunite, start over? Why'd you gain all that weight? Someone close to me passed away and it it had an effect. Oh, I remember him. You had him over for dinner once when mom was in Montana visiting grandma. <gasps> you did? You made steaks. I remember hearing you two talk after I went to bed. How'd he die? I don't, I, I really don't want to talk about that right now. Oh boy. She gonna leave. She gonna leave. If you're not gonna share, I'm not gonna share. You gotta share too. They're gonna probably feel that later. This shit has to hurt to see him like that. Struggling like that. Acting hard, but. She's just angry. She's really, really angry. Well, she has every right to be. You know, I get it. Oh, did he go in here to cry? Unless you're dying, there's no way I'm going in there. He's in the bathroom. Oh, I can come back. Are you his friend? Or... I'm his daughter. I have some pamphlets that I think would... Re... Why did you just do that? Are you coming back tomorrow? <laughs> I'll be here on the same time. Why did you take a picture I'm of him? Sorry. What's happening? What is she doing? With you. I hope she's not gonna post something fucked up about him and that kid. She's gonna post something fucked up. She's assuming they got something going on. It's not what you think. God creates us, expels us from paradise. We wander around for thousands of years, killing each other. Ooh. Yeah. It's dark as hell. He's like, no, thank you. God. This doesn't sound like something. That Look, I really think that God brought me here for a reason. Well, there's something you could do for me. What? Um, what? I'm not 
Oh my God. I'm I'm sorry. I just no. With what you were watching the first time I came in. <laughs> oh Lord. I'm coming around to you. You're a fetus. <laughs> sorry. He called him a fetus. Thomas, tell me the truth. Do you find me disgusting? No. Let me help. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can start by getting me that key. I wonder if that was the room that he was with his boyfriend. I got you this. I did some asking around and... <laughs> what the fuck is he... <laughs> I told you not to come back. She keeps trying to like decrease his stress. She got the machine. She got the wheelchair. <laughs> this is gonna kill him. <laughs> ah, Thomas, you know you want to smile, Thomas. <laughs> Oh, you like it. This is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier to get around. <laughs> he said, look, no pain. See, I told you. Not till we have our little chat. She's like a mother. <laughs> what else? Just give me a minute with him. <laughs> You're in timeout. <laughs> you a cigarette. Stay away from him. He doesn't need this right now. He's dying. He's refusing to go to the hospital. What he needs is spiritual guidance. And you're going to give him that. Uh oh. <laughs> we going face to face. My big brother did some missionary work for New Life. He wrote me a letter a few months after he left, told me he was tired and lonely but he didn't want to come home because he didn't want to get married dad had set it all up pushed him into getting married to this girl from the church he barely knew but when he came back he met someone else dad kicked him out of the church couldn't shake it he just caved in on himself stopped sleeping stopped eating lost a ton of weight a couple weeks later this guy is out jogging on a bike path near the river in lewiston sees something washed up on shore and that was alan the love of Charlie's life and my brother. Oh! Yeah, oh. I really think that God brought me here right when Charlie needs it the most. I just want him to be saved. That's you all. listen to me! In a few days, he's probably gonna be dead. You understand me? Yes. Oh. Light doesn't work. Shit. That sucks. <gasps> oh, wow. He can't even go in. Are we still supposed to say? Mm hmm. Gambitos! I'm Dan. <laughs> I just. My name. It's Dan. Charlie! Hey, Charlie. <laughs> Seems nice. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, like, is the guy never comes to the door? This apartment. I hate everyone. <laughs> what? I'm confused. <laughs> Damn, he can't even laugh. <sighs> Shit. Saddest of all, that the author was just trying to save us from his own sad story. My heart. I don't know if I can sit through the whole yeah. thing. It's almost done. You know, I was in a really strange place in my life when I married your mom. I fucking ask. I'm sorry. I understand that you're angry. You can just be angry at me. Okay, you know what? You can't throw me away like I'm a piece of garbage and then suddenly just want to be my dad eight years later. 
And if you've been telling yourself anything different, then you're lying to yourself. Thank you for that. You could have been sending us money. I did. Yeah, I mean more than just child support. I did. But you could have just fucking called me. All this time, you could, you could have been a part of my life. Who would want me to be a part of their life? I'm only using turkey. I'm only using turkeys. What? Nothing. You're an amazing person, Ellie. I hope you know what an amazing person you are. I couldn't ask for a more incredible daughter. I'll print that up for you now. What the fuck is she doing? Did she put something in his food? Did she put something in his food? Like, what's, what, this, what the fuck is happening? I think she drugged him. Why would she do that? Yeah! Uh, hello? Come on. Is he okay? I don't know. I ground up some Ambien and then put it in a sandwich. What? Let me give him a couple. He's fine. I can take like three at a time. Where did you get Ambien? I had sex with the pharmacist. Oh my god. Huh? I'm kidding. Gross. My mom pops on like TikToks. <gasps> Does this make you nervous? I'm screaming for attention, girl. All right, I'm gonna go. Just tell him I was here and I'll. If you leave, I'll feed him the rest of the pills I have in the bottle. What? Yeah. There's like 20. You wouldn't actually do that, would you? Sit down. Do you think he wants to have sex with you? That is so gross. Oh my god. Take a hit. I don't. She is so. I'm gonna call the police and I'm gonna tell them that you tried to rape me. Take a hit. What? Oh, this kid's crazy. She's gonna take a picture of you. Don't do it. Snap. <gasps> Look, I'm just fucking with you, all right? I'm not gonna kill anyone. Can I take another hit? It goes against your religion. He's like, I'm stressed. Go ahead. This young kid is lost too. Look at her. You take another photo. Do you find me attractive? Because I'm not attracted to you at all. Why are you here with this girl? You're not from your life. I gotta go. Who were you really? Um. Come on, just tell me. Who is he? I think we have a blossoming friendship. I was on a mission. When my dad caught me smoking pot, he thought a mission would be a good idea. Anyway, I just left. I just want to be like that. So why'd you leave then? For stealing from the mission. Oh, so we got sticky fingers. I thought I could use this money. You're recording money. him. No, see, my faith saved just one person. Please, your parents are worried sick about you, probably. <laughs> oh, shit. You again? Alpha is the mother? Oh, my lord. Charlie. Didn't see that coming. Alpha in the cut. You know, I was a very angry, very stupid little girl once too, but if you would have given him any more pills than yeah, that- Yeah, but I didn't give him more pills than that. I gave him two pills. How much money did he offer you? Oh, why is this coming up? You think I would believe that you were coming over here out of the kindness of your heart? <laughs> Charlie doesn't have any money. <laughs> he doesn't? The account for Ellie? By now, it has to be huge. Yup, she's right. Oh God, he didn't even tell her. That's not true, is it? Charlie. 
Last winter when my pickup broke down and I had to walk through the snow to get your groceries for you. I offered to get your truck fixed. Yeah, and I refused because I thought you had $700 in your bank account. The money's for Ellie. Wait. Oh, no. She feels like shit because she's been taking care of him all this time. Mom, you're not getting any of my money. Oh, shut up, Howie. Right? Shut up. Thank you. Right? I get her being upset, but she's she's too much. Listen, I don't care about you. Ellie, please. Just fucking die already. Whoa. Ellie, your, your essay. Mm. It's... Until she's out of the house. I give her the money. Last month, I tried to make a stir fry thing. Yeah. Almost set the entire apartment building on fire. <laughs> Need I remind you that you left us? I just wanted to see her, Mary. I've always just, just wanted to see her. She's awful, isn't she? She's a terror, and you think it's my fault. Is that why you kept her from me all this time? I was worried she would hurt you. Hurt me? She's evil. No shit. She's not evil. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She's gonna show him something he ain't aware of. <gasps> she did post him. Damn. Oh. You see nobody liked it though. No. I've made quite a few appearances on that thing. Oh damn, her too. This isn't evil. This is honesty. I don't understand you, Charlie. Every time I call and ask you how she's doing, you say she's fine. You think I didn't want her to have a dad? Very please. I don't even know what to say. This is heavy. <laughs> I feel so bad. I never got to say that I was sorry about your friend. Mm. Oh. I saw him once. He wasn't looking too good, and I don't think it was long before he, he let me carry a couple of bags to his car. I never even told him who I was. Mm, wow. You're wheezing. You let me hear. Sound. When we took that trip to the Oregon coast together, Ellie played in the sand, and that was the last time I ever went swimming, actually. And you were so mad that my legs bled and stained the seats of the minivan. <laughs> certain that she's gonna be okay you already gave up on her you gave up on her when she was eight years old i wish it could have been a part of her life mary you have money just go to the hospital that money it's for ellie i need to know that she's gonna have a decent life i need to go. mary she doesn't I have, to go. have anyone else I need to know that I have done one thing right with my life. I raised her, and you're giving her the money. It's the best we could do. God, this shit is sad. 
just like okay with dying. Did she break it? His daughter. Oh my god, two at a time? He just wants to die, I swear. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Oh my god. Where's his friend? She left. I stole some money and I ran away from home a few months ago and your daughter, she took these pictures of me smoking pot and she found my church in Waterloo somehow and then she sent it to them and they sent it to my parents and-, Wait. and Oh my God. They, they forgive me and they love me and they want me to come home. She found your church. <laughs> She's a clever little asshole, isn't she? I don't know. She's crazy. I can't read her. <gasps> Help you. I'm not going to the hospital. I'm not going to make you go, but I, I can help you. I would. I would force him. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. I could help you understand what happened to Alan so it doesn't happen to you too. He chose his life with you over God, but this is why he was so obsessed with this verse. You think Alan died because he chose to be with me? Yes. Oh, boy. You know something? I wasn't always this big. Alan loved me. Is it hard to hear those things? We're crazy about one another. This isn't, uh... It's just perfect temperature outside. Charlie, stop. Why? Homophobic? Nights lying together naked. Do you find that disgusting? Mmm. I was ready to help you. Oh, I hope that there isn't a God that Alan can see what I have done to myself. Charlie. And he can see my swollen feet. Hey, stop. This is disgusting. Yes. I'm disgusting. Yes. You're disgusting. You. Go home to your family. He's like, you can't help me. Jeez. They keep showing the days, so he probably is going to die like in a week or something. Like well, it's, it's the week that he's dying. Please. Julian, you wrote I'm sick of people telling me that I have promise. I love his voice. He has such a, I don't know, he's like Negan. He got that voice that sounds like velvet. <laughs> Adam, you, you've been so honest with me that I... I... <gasps> he's going to show himself. Look at the faces. Oh. Do you want to laugh? Uh-huh. Top right, she just laughed. I think they're more stunned. I wouldn't, I would have, I'd probably be surprised, but I, I would definitely not make fun of them. Don't record them. Of course, it doesn't matter. These amazing, honest things that you wrote, they matter. His heart probably sounds hella weak. I really hate you for putting me through this again, you know that? Those last few months before Alan. God, that was awful! It was awful for me too. Yeah, well you weren't the one who had to identify his body all bloated. They wouldn't let me. Oh gosh. I could not. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm doing. I can't do this anymore. Mm. I thought that if I just loved him, that he wouldn't need anyone else. If it weren't for you, he would have jumped off that bridge years earlier. I don't think I believe anyone can save anyone. She wasn't trying to hurt him. She was trying to help him. Do you feel lightheaded, Charlie? Look at me. She's trying to help him. Who? Ellie. She just wanted to send him home. Do you ever get the feeling that People are incapable of not caring. People are amazing. What's wrong with him? He 
is dying. So call someone. Yeah. Call a fucking ambulance. I need to talk to him. I'm not leaving you alone with him. I need to talk to him alone. Please. I'll call someone. Oh, my heart. Fuck this movie. I failed. That's a really good essay. I don't care that you're dying. Do you want me to fail out of high school? You didn't read it. I don't need to read it. I know what this is. <laughs> I knew you would. I wrote this. Why do you... And I felt saddest of all when I read the boring chapters that were only descriptions of whales. The author was just trying to save us from his own sad story. Just for a little while. <laughs> How do you have this? Your mother sent it, and it's the best essay I've ever read. Why are you fucking with me like this? I'm sorry for leaving you. <laughs> I was in love. <laughs> I left you behind. You did not deserve that. I don't know how I could have done such a thing. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Stop. You're amazing. <laughs> this essay was you. Stop saying that. You're the best thing I have ever done. <laughs> What's the matter? Ellie, you'll be happy. You're going to the hospital. No. If you want help, read it to me. If you read it... You ass, you fat fucking asshole. You'll help if Fuck you read you. it, please. Fuck you! Ellie! <laughs> Daddy, please. <laughs> In the amazing book Moby Dick by the author Herman Melville, who is missing a leg and very much wants to kill the whale, which is named Moby Dick. I'm over this movie. I think this is sad because this whale doesn't have any emotions and doesn't know how bad AF wants to kill him. He's just a poor, big animal. And I feel bad for Ahab as well because he thinks that his life will be better if he can just kill this whale. <laughs> I was very sad about this <laughs> because I knew that the author was just trying to save us from his own sad story just for a little while. <laughs> That's what was calming him all this time, her essay. <laughs> Oh, this is, must be when he dies. That's the saddest fucking thing I've seen in a long time, yo. God, that's the saddest thing I've seen in a long time. It's so sad that he just gave up mm -hmm. on life. He had many opportunities where he could have, you know, took care of himself and been there for her, but it was like too late. You know. That was sad as fuck. Yeah. Not one of those movies meant to have a happy ending, mm -hmm. I guess. Sometimes certain movies should be a little more realistic than, you know, others. You know. You missed out so much. That's what killed him, taking those last steps. Mm -hmm. It was too much for his heart. That was exactly. That overworked his heart. But I think it was worth it for him because he wanted to do that for her. You know, not even for himself. This is the sad, saddest shit I've seen in a long time. 
Oh, I'm sad now. Yeah. I'm crushed. I'm broken. <laughs> you did good. I'll say that. I'm shattered. Thanks for making this reaction video with us. Drop a comment down below. Fuck this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need aspirin and shit. I'll see you guys in my next reaction video.